Hi, I'm Seema. Welcome to the IFN Dhaba. Today we are going to be doing Cholia Alu Gravy. So to know the recipe, keep watching. So the ingredients required for the Cholia Alu Gravy is we have this puree is of two small onions and three large tomatoes, one large potato diced, 200 grams of cholia, two heaped tablespoons of coriander leaves, two ladles of curd, two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste, one teaspoon coriander powder, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon chili powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, jeera, and one teaspoon of garam masala, two green chilies diced, two tablespoons of oil, and two cups of water. That's up to you how you want to adjust the gravy. So now we light the gas and let's get cooking the cholia aloo gravy. So first I add in the two tablespoons of oil. Now since the oil has become hot, I'm going to add in the jeera. Now that with the jeera has started spluttering, I will add in the garlic ginger paste. Waiting for the garlic ginger to turn a little golden. Now getting the fragrance of the garlic ginger being cooked. So I am going to add in the puree. Stirring it nicely. I will add in the green chilies, some coriander leaves, salt, dhania powder, red chili powder, and turmeric powder. And now since the tomatoes have been nicely cooked, I'm going to add the dahi. So you can see that slight change of color. And now I add in the potatoes and the cholia. And now I give it a good stir. And I cook it on slow fire for about 5 minutes so that all the masalas can be incorporated nicely. Okay, so now I am adding another cup of water. If you want a thick gravy, you will use less of water. If you want a little more gravy, you can you're free to use more water. So basically I have used one and a half cup. So now I will shut it and let it cook. Let there be two whistles and then keep it slow for a, about another two to three minutes and then it's ready. So let's have a look as we have finished giving two whistles and keeping it on slow flame for about good seven minutes. Our cholia aloo is done. This is the way it looks. Potatoes have also been done. Now again this is optional. Optional you can do cholia aloo, you can do cholia pani and in the same recipe you can even do aloo matar. Now I add in the garam masala last and the coriander leaves. Garnish it nicely with this and it's ready to serve. Just give it a quick stir 
and we have a nice thick gravy. It's not very watery or runny, it's thick. So here we have the cholia aloo which is ready. This can be eaten with roti or with rice. If you like this recipe, subscribe to India Food Network. Any queries or comments, write in. Thank you.